Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Lelouch, a board certified OBGYN physician with over 30 years of clinical experience. And today I'm going to make another video on labor and today we're going to talk about pushing techniques. Now, there's a lot of information out there. These are some of the tips and tricks that I've discovered over the years that are helpful. That doesn't mean that this is the only way to, to handle pushing or to do it some general things hopefully that you'll find useful. A couple of things right off the bat is every time you see women uh, on TV uh, pushing you'll hear them screaming and or uh, uh, making lots of noise and it's dramatic makes for good TV doesn't push the baby out. So all that energy that you are using to direct from your lungs to go through your voice and make noise and to scream is not is energy that isn't going to move the baby out. So if you're able to, you want to uh, push with your breath held and not letting any, any air out. Your lungs are like pistons. And if they're filled with air, they actually help push the baby out. And if you're letting air out of your lungs by screaming and yelling, making noise, then your lungs are actually decreasing in size and actually less pressure is on the baby, so it's less effective for pushing. Does that mean you shouldn't scream? Absolutely not. You're, if you're especially, um, you're uh, having lots of discomfort and that can sometimes help. I'm not discouraging you to push, to, to scream. I'm just saying if you want to have more effective pushing, then it's not the dramatic screaming in TV, but it's take a deep breath in, Hold your breath, have it long, your lungs filled, push as long and hard as you can. And then when you need to breathe, blow it out and then breathe in real quick and do it again instead of taking a, a bunch of breaths. Why is that? Why, why do you need to take just one breath? Well, the reason is when you're pushing, the baby's moving down. When you're breathing, the baby's moving backwards. So if you breathe too much, all you're doing with the baby is shifting it back and forth. Instead, if you push, 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 move it a little and breathe once, it moves back a little, then you're going a little bit, move forward, forward, and it moves it a little bit better. That being said, if you're feeling dizzy, you need more breaths, take them, but that's the tip. So the, a good way to imagine it is think of yourself as swimming underwater in a swimming competition. You dive in, you swim as far as you can underwater. When you come up, you take one breath and go back down really right away. We generally like to get three good pushes. Now, how do you actually push? Well, all of us have been doing it all our life. We all poop. It's the same type of, of uh, effort. Try not to overthink it. That being said, it sometimes takes some figuring out. Also can be a little bit more difficult with an epidural uh, to sort out the correct pushes, but that's what your nurses and your support staff are there to help guide you and give you feedback uh, either uh, visibly they tell you or sometimes Amir can help give you feedback to know when it's effective and when it isn't. So there's a lot more that can be said. Um, there are other ways to approach this but these are some of the tips and tricks that I have found to be very useful for women to have shorter uh, second state of labor. That's the pushing part. I uh, hope you found this helpful. Thank you.